Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you the mother of them all, the inset group node. It's been highly requested and there are some videos on YouTube. Uh, CG Matter made uh, one uh, video that was quite uh, popular and um, this is the setup he used. And it's very simple and it kind of works okay for symmetric shapes like this one. So this is true so you extrude the mesh let's just mute this for a second you, you extrude the mesh like this and then you scale scale the elements like this scale the the top face and and you set the offset scale to zero and yeah it looks it looks right and as much as I love CG Matter and I follow him all the time and all his videos uh, have always something to learn for everyone but uh, this kind of set up uh, set up my uh, little tiny itty bitty uh, OCD because uh, as you can see this setup is uh, too simplistic if we go into edit mode we select all and we scale it for example uh, on just one axis like this uh, and as you can see uh, this doesn't look like a, an offset to me uh, this isn't an offset this is I don't know what this is and and this is only uh, not the worst problem because here we have uh, for example uh, a weird shape so here if we just th this is just a plain simple plain weirdly shaped though and if we apply this material this node setup you can see that this really becomes all but inset. This is completely... I don't know what this is. This is not an inset. This is this is useless. Uh, but so I created an inset node and here it is. And you can download it from the link in the description. Uh, that would be a perfect way to support me and this channel. If you don't want to download it, you can always watch me uh, uh, explain how I created this node. I'm not going to go into every single detail of it because this is not for beginner. It would take me maybe three hours and um, I will just explain the principles behind it and the rest you will have to manage yourselves. Anyway, if we plug in this node, you can see the inset is working perfectly on this shape and on this shape as well uh, the only thing we have here is the distance so the distance obviously if we cross over to the other part of geometry some uh, artifacts are gonna happen but that, that should be expected right anyway uh, so this is the perfect inset node and why we have two of them well because this one works only for single faces and this one works for multiple faces but to a maximum of 500 faces for now until we get the loop node or until I don't know something else happens that uh, allows me to make this without that limitation of 500 faces for now but anyway you can use it two times maybe just divide if, if you really have more than 500 faces but uh, so anyway, why then the inset single node? Well, the inset single node sometimes will be enough for what you need to do and it is much faster. As you can see, this one for this face takes only 3.2 milliseconds. Why if we plug in this uh, multiple, uh, then it will take 91 milliseconds and it's a lot. So it's good to have this inset single node and the only two things that we have here that can be used again these two sockets are just a selection socket so if we for example want to extrude some of these faces again like this uh, we can select to extrude only for example the center faces so yeah here they are extruded Okay, so this one obviously works. Let me just mute this for a second. Obviously works for a bunch of other type of objects. So for example, the cube here. Let me just like 
like this and let's make, let me put this view okay so the cube here for example as you can see uh, if I scale it on Y for example 5 it works perfectly on all faces it insets all of them uh, just let's go back to that setup of before and as you can see this is not the way an inset should look uh, and then obviously it works also for example this is the shape the mega shape of them all for example is Suzanne if it works with this one then it will work for everything else and here for example we can we can we can add a material set material here we go okay let's just select our material the only material wins in the scene and let's now we need to go back to this view and for example we can only apply that material to the side faces and as you can see it works perfectly now we just one point two you see that everything is procedural and working perfectly okay now let's turn off these other shapes and let and let me keep just this weird shape to show you how this inset works okay let's go back into this one connect it here and let's see inside what goes on okay first things first there is another group node that I created it's the offset multiple and if somebody already purchased this node he can go back uh, to the page uh, of the product on Gumroad and he will find a discount code for purchasing this inset node so just go back to the offset multiple product page you will find a text file that will give you the discount code and you'll be able to purchase the inset node for a smaller fee and of course for everyone who hasn't purchased the offset multiple let's just say you will get two products for the price of one because uh, as you can see here this is my geometry so my face uh, is plugged in here and it goes out and I will show you what comes out of this offset multiple this so this is let me just unconnect this and this is what this offset multiple does it, again if you don't want to download these files I have a video on this it will be in the description uh, that will tell you how I created this node so you can create this one also by yourself so let me connect back this one okay so this is my inset and then let's leave this for a second and let's go back here where here the grid okay so the grid here is just a grid of two vertices on the X so one two and how many vertices on the Y axis as many as there are vertices of my plane geometry so attribute statistic catches, uh, captures the index it adds one because the first index is zero so to create the, the, all of them and why is that why we need this kind of a grid well because that grid in the end it's going to become this so as you can see this is just that grid two vertices it starts from somewhere right so it starts from somewhere this is here and then other two here other two here other two here so this is practically a simple two by I don't know 15 how many 17 vertices grid two by 17 and I just need to place it on these points and that's how exactly what I did so I have that grid and I'm transferring it with these two nodes on the places of these two curves so here I have two curves and with this node I'm transferring only the left part of the vertices leaving the others here as you can see so these vertices are here 
So I'm transferring this part of the vertices where they need to go. And these, that as you can see, they're still here, are getting transferred with this. And, and that's it. That, that, that's all there is. And then I need to flip the faces if for some reason they aren't, they aren't facing the right way as the original face. So I'm comparing the original face. Ah, sorry, of course, we need also the, the center face. So we need this geometry here. We are separating the center face here. And I just filled up the face with the same uh, principles. So the mesh circle of how many vertices that, that takes the positions of that, of this, sorry, of this curve. So this curve takes up this circle, circle mesh with exact 17, eight or I don't know what number of vertices. Yes, yeah, seven, that was the double, that was more than this, but anyway. So this mesh circle will just be placed on all these vertices right here, like this. And then, so we will have that face we were looking for. So here we have the face and down here we have the other faces. And, and we need to flip them if for some reason, as you can see, the normals are facing in the wrong direction from the original face. And if they are, it's just gonna flip them. And if they are not, then we're not gonna flip them. And, and then here I use that store named attribute to add the value of these faces, uh, of value to these faces, zero, and the value of one to the same attribute of these faces so that I can select uh, one or the other and then join all together merge by distance obviously but but then of course in the output the center faces are uh, this select attribute if they're zero or if they're one it selects center faces or the side face okay that's it for the inset single this one is simple but uh, this multiple is much more complicated and I'm not going to go over it. Why? Because I actually already done a video to uh, show you how to do some kind of a loop node. And uh, uh, but because that is exactly what we need to do. So we need to take this instant single node and do the same that operation that instant single node does for every single face in your geometry and it looks kind of like this i'm just going to show you don't get freaked out uh, we have 500 of them as i already told you and it's not that complicated but i will leave the link in the description for the video about loopy nodes and then you'll be able to do stuff like this also uh, the cool thing about this that I will show you is that this setup here lets me kind of remove the excess geometry. So it's not that these nodes, the all these 500 nodes get passed on and that's why it takes that 90 milliseconds. It just takes 25 nodes at a time. So it adds, it looks at how many faces are there and then it divides them by 25 because these are all rows of 25 nodes. And then uh, with this switch 20 node that also I created, but it's not that complicated. It just uh, tells me whether I want just the first row or the, both rows or three rows and so on and so on until we get to 500 faces and let me show you how this one looks these are just switches switches that add one two five six six uh, to choose between geometry one geometry two geometry three and so on and that's it that is how it's done. And another cool thing maybe that I can show you, 
So for example, if I use my Suzanne with the multiple, of course, no, because as you can see, this one will not work very well. Let me just connect it to this set material like this. Okay, so we have our Suzanne and we just want to, for example, use this selection thing and position XYZ Z greater than and we're just gonna plug it into our selection and so what happens uh, this node affects all the faces that are on the positive Z axis. So everything, every vertex of every face needs to be on the positive Z axis to be affected by this instant transformation, as you can see. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember that you can download these nodes and remember that discount code for the ones that already purchased the offset multiple node. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.